Hi guys, I know it's been a while. Um, I actually, I have a few videos recorded. I just haven't edited them. And I did um, a BoxyCharm video last month, but for some reason the ending was completely gone. So I didn't upload that one either. I don't know, it's been just a disaster for me. But anyway, so I do have BoxyCharm and Glossy Box right now, this month. And we're gonna go ahead and go through them both. And they're the February boxes, so for Valentine's Day. Let's see what happened. Okay, the first one I wanna go through is the Glossy Box. It just looks like a little envelope, and on the back it has like like little postage stamp kind of thing. So inside, inside is pink and white, and it has a card in here, like a little postcard that looks just like the box. Little blue ribbon and the insert that kind of tells you exactly what's inside the box and all that jazz. Okay, so when I open it, the first thing I see is a mask on top. This is a pour charcoal mud sheet mask. It says it's a peel off 3D mask sheet. Black head, white head, Titan 3D. Okay. So basically, you just take the, the mask, apply it, and then when it's dry, then you rip it off your face, basically. I'm, you know, I have so many masks and I don't use them. I just don't have the patience for them, to be honest with you. I just don't feel like, I, if, if I can't get up and move around and do something, then I don't have patience just to lay back and relax and wait for it to dry. But I am interested because it's a peel off, like those cucumber masks, those are cool. Okay, next in here, this kind of, this box looks kind of bleh to me. It, <laughs> it really does. Look, that's it right there. So next in here is John Master from John Masters Organics. It's geranium and grapefruit body wash and body milk. So these are two fluid ounces, and they're six fifty a piece for the two fluid ounces. They smell really nice, nice and fresh and citrusy, not kind of a fake citrusy, it smells good. So these have essential oils in them. I guess that's what makes them a little bit different than other um, body body washes and things like that. So, okay. All right, next is from Royal Apothic Scrubby Sugar Lip Scrub. Oh, that's cool. This is in Fig. That's a cool little, looks like one of those, do you remember, I don't know, I'm older than probably half the people that ever watched this, but they used to have these little things in these little um, metal tubes, and they were, it's kind of leaking out all over the place, I just, I can tell, but, um, and they would come with straws, and you would put these like little gummy kind of things on the end of the straw, and you would blow these little bubbles, I forget what they're called, but yeah, that just, it reminds me of that, I don't know, <clears throat> so it's in fig. It's sealed up here, so I'm not gonna open it right now because I have a, a couple other scrubs that are open and I'd rather just use those up before I open one of these up. Even though it kind of seems like it's open on this side, it's coming out. This is a full size and this is $14. Okay, next in here is from Duce, Duche. I never, never, never know how to say this. Um, cosmetics, it's Relentless Matte Lip Crayon and it's in Winterberry. And this is $22 for, for this one here. I mean, they have a good value in the box so far this month, but I'm just not that into it, to be honest with you. Okay, and last thing in here is a brush from Vasanti. This is the eyeshadow brush, and it's just like a flat top C, C shaped brush, and it's $21 for this brush here. I mean, the brush is very nice. It's I like Vasanti brushes in general, but um, I don't know, I never use these flat brushes. I know to like pack on the lid and stuff like that. I just use my finger. I just prefer that method. I think the color comes off a lot better. But so overall, I mean, the value of the box is nice. Um, I just kind of think it's a eh, kind of box for me. So to wrap it up, we have the body wash and um, body milk, the lippy here, the eyeshadow brush, the lip scrub, and the mask. It's just, it's, you know what, to be honest with you, the only thing that I think I would use is probably these two here, and then the lip scrub. Um, the other three items, it's just not for me. Eh, it's just okay. 
let me see last month's box let me see what was last month's box i have last month's box here i'm just going to give you a quick rundown through last month's box since i wasn't able to put it up but i'll just kind of show you quickly oh yeah this box was awesome last month was fantastic and i'm still trying to get over my stupid cold that i've had for two weeks now Ugh. all right boxy charm let's see last month's boxy charm was really good i actually did the whole like i tried on everything and everything it just didn't work out whatever it, it is what it is all right um so here is the box inside we have brushes we got some kind of glowy stuff i i now that i'm looking at this i want to say that i'm not very like gung-ho about this box um the brushes look really cute but when i saw them in a picture i thought that they looked kind of cheapy okay so this is the brush it's kind of like i used to do a lot of amazon reviews when that was like kind of allowed back in the day and i used to get i mean i still have tons of brushes and this kind of looks like some of those um brushes that you would get and they were not good at all um it kind of feels that way i mean they're really cute the little blush pink on the tip uh, the white um, bottoms they're very lightweight kind of they just kind of feel kind of cheapy to be honest with you okay and this um, little trio of brushes is $30 I think that's a little extreme for these brushes you can go on Amazon and get a whole set of brushes for less than $30 and they're decent brushes so all right next in here is from Seraphine Botanicals it's sugar and lemon moisturizing lip buffer extra exfoliant hydrating blah 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 it's kind of like a similar box to the glossy box so um, this particular one here is $24 um, next we have from vintage cosmetics this is um, a black eyeliner I guess smoky eye pencil in jet black it's a nice black I'm gonna uh, it's nice and dark I like that that's pretty I don't normally use um, pencil liners but I'm willing to give it a try to see it's a smoky eye pencil so I guess you can smudge it out if yeah you can totally smudge it out I wonder if it'll set down in place after you smudge it and do what you got to do so I'm gonna leave it here for a second I smudged out one side of it and we'll see if it sets in place then we have from cover effects this is a shimmer veil um what color is it in it doesn't say i guess maybe it's only one shade oh my gosh this is like let me see oh it's an amethyst it's like this pretty pinky purple kind of glittery goodness whoa that's so pretty i would never use it but it's so so pretty this is like something that i would have loved to use when i was a kid okay so you can use it on the eyes it says that it will stay in place or you can use it anywhere on the face and $28 for this one I mean that's cool and all I'm just you know I'm just not into that I mean if you are then fantastic but I'm not into it and the next the last item also is I'm just not into it so for me because of that this box was kind of like not my thing but this is from Naked Cosmetics it's a cool package you see that holographic package and I believe this is a highlighter yeah holographic highlighter collection so I personally would never use any of these highlighters on my face because I'm just not I'm just not into that I'm not even gonna swatch it I'll probably leave it and see who I can give it to because it's just not for me maybe my <laughs> I don't know I was thinking maybe my daughter would play with that so I don't know I mean it's cute and all but I mean come on I'm over 40 and I'm just not into that kind of um, rainbow kind of colored highlighter and all that stuff um, this palette is $39.99 so I mean <sighs> I think glossy box was better and I didn't even like glossy box so both of these boxes for the month of February for Valentine's Day were kind of like a not too good but it is what it is the majority of the times the boxes are way better boxy charm i really love them for the most part um so this month being a fail is it is what it is okay so you see that thing is not budging it is completely completely budge proof now the liner let's see 
oh no, see, I can't wear that. If it hasn't set by now, it'll be all over my face by the end of the day. I can't use that. <laughs> and for this one, we have the highlighting palette, this cover effects, um, I don't know what that is, so whatever, the eye color, the lip scrub, the brushes, and the vintage pencil. So quickly, last month, Last month was, was really, really nice. They had this um, Glam Metals um, palette, and I've used the heck out of this thing. It doesn't look like it, but I have. I've used a lot. I like the, um, the middle two shades right here on the top, these first two in the center. Um, actually, all three straight down in the center. Um, those are really nice. I've used the gold, Wicked in the corner over here on the bottom right my right, your left, the one that looks like a brown on the bottom. Um, the Gerlactic lip color, fantastic. Um, the It Brow, do I even have it in here? I don't think I have it in here. It's on my vanity, I'm using that. That's really nice. Um, this Luminizer Primer, really good. And then this um, Pure, what is it, Bronze and Brighton. This one, I haven't really used this one because it's just so bold and so crazy. I've used the highlighter. I want to use the orange blush, but I'm a little bit afraid to use it. However, I've seen like tutorials and things and it came out really nice. Like you can make it look good and not be so orangey and bright, but last month was awesome. I'm sure if I kind of, maybe if I set it with powder, but that's just another step that I'm just not, not willing to take. So that's both of my boxes. Um, like I said, they were kind of eh for this month. It is what it is. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming by and watching the video and checking me out. And I will see you again in another one.